Good day, engineers. Dahil naka-quarantine tayo at work from home, why not make our day productive and pag-aralan natin ang design of steel members for compression para dyan sa mga nagre-review from home dahil nalalapit na naman ang board exam. So, let's start. Modes of failures for members prone to flexural buckling. Meron kasi tinatawag engineers na local buckling and general buckling. Ang local buckling, ito lang yung part ng member ng isang column ang mababakel. For example, the web and the flange. Kapag nag-apply tayo, it's either the web or the flange lang yung magbabakel. Tatawag siyang local buckling. Dito naman sa general buckling is the whole member will buckle. Just like this picture. Uh, today, dito lang tayo sa flexural buckling kasi yung local buckling is another topic na pwede natin i-discuss in the future. So... When he's subjected to flexural buckling, meron siyang tinatawag na dalawang modes pa na failure. It's either yielding or the buckling. Buckling itself. The yielding is the stress is FY and the buckling is stress is FCR. FCR is the Euler's buckling stress. O mamaya, i-discuss natin yung formula. So, for yielding is when the load is applied dahil short column siya or masyado siyang maliit tawag sa kanya short column, mahirap siyang baluktotin. So, mag-yield lang yung member mo. Unlike sa long column or slender column, madali siyang baluktotin kasi masyado siyang mahaba. So, yun lang, yun lang yung dalawa na dapat nating malaman pag nagde-design tayo. Di ba naman sa structural engineering? Dapat alam natin yung unang mangyayari sa sa ating member para nag, para effective yung design natin. So, kailan ba natin malalaman kung yielding siya or buckling? So, let's start. The Euler's buckling formula. This ano, this formula is for uh, when the stress is within the elastic range or the under the proportional limit lang. So, critical compressive stress is FCR is equals to Ito yung FCR kanina, tulad sa buckling, the pi squared E over KL over R squared. And the critical actual compression is FCR times area of the section. Or, be given sa ibang book na pi squared EI over KL squared. Ano lang to, uh, na-derive lang yan. So, you can use both, both equation for deriving the critical actual compression. Pero, ako kasi, ang ginagamit ko na lang yung FCR times area. Kasi alam ko naman yung stress. Stress times area is force lang. So, isa lang yung formula na kinabisado ko. Pero, madiderive mad mad mo rin naman yan yung formula na to. Pi squared EI over KL squared. So, ano nga ba yan? KL over R is the largest slenderness ratio. Meron kasi tayong slenderness ratio na tinatawag sa na nasasolve for weak axis and the uh, stronger axis. K is the end fixity factor is uh, nakadepende siya sa type of support sa column natin. KL or LE sa ibang book, isa siya, tawag siya ay effective length. R is the radius of gyration na alam natin sa strema natin, sa net of materials na radius of gyration is square root of I over A or inertia over A. So, what is end fixity factor nga ba? So, meron tayong column dito na kadepende sa type of support. It's either uh, pin-pin connection, fix-fix connection, pin-fix, and the free fix. Then, when the load is applied, dito sa ating column, sa pin-pin connection, ganito siya mag -buckle. Then, hanapin natin yung point of contraflexure or yung point of zero moments or yung change of concavity na tinatawag. So, ito siya. So, the distance between the zero moments is LE. Yun yung effective length natin. So, kapag dinivide natin yung LE sa L ng column natin, our end fixity factor is 1. Ganyan. So, 1 siya kapag pin-pin. Unlike dito naman sa fix-fix, when the load is applied, dun sa first, parang mag uuna muna siya mag... Ang, ila, ang ano niya, ang deformation niya, mag-straight muna siya, then siya siya magbabakel. Diba? 
pag nag applied ka ng load. So, the distance niya ng point of contraflexure or zero moments is the effective length. So, kapag nine-divide na natin ang LE sa L, the n-fixity factor for fixed fixed connection is 0.5. Next, when the pin fix connection naman is applied, load is applied, ganito siya magbabakel, mag-straight muna sa baba, then magbabakel kasi, tapos after dun sa dulo, kasi pin siya, so ganyan siya magbakel. So, hanapin natin yung point of contraflexure or zero moments, that is our effective length. So, divide ulit natin, 0.7. Ngayon, dito naman sa free fix na support, ganito siya magbakel. When the load is applied, ganyan siya magbabakel. Ngayon, isa lang yung point of contraflexure. Doon sa baba, may moment yan eh, di ba? Kasi fix yan. So, asan yung isa? Eto. Yan yung isa. So, the distance between them is LE, effective length. So, effective length divided sa length ng column natin, K is 2.0. So, yun. So, it, this is a theoretical value for N-fixicity factor. So, under the... AISC code commentary mga codes ano, provisions uh, dahil mahirap gumawa ng fix sa tunay na buhay, application ng fix support sa tunay na buhay that can uh, support the large moments eh, nag, meron silang recommended value for end fixicity factor gagamitin lang natin to unless in state sa tanong problem sa board exam pero ang ginagamit kasi talaga is the theoretical value so, for recommended, for pin-pin connection, pin-pin uh, naman siya, may hindi naman siya fix, so madali, ma nagagawa siya, so walang pagbabago, okay, is 1. Then, dito sa N-fixicity factor naman, recommended, dahil mahirap gawin yung fix-fix, dalawang part naman yung fix, nagbago, nag-adjust, 0.65. Dito naman sa pin-fix, so may isa pa tayong fix sa baba, so, mag adjust din yung value niya. Depend, uh, ang K natin is 0.8. Dito naman sa free, 2.1. So, merong ibang derivation ng K. Kung gusto nyong malaman, is nandun lang sa mga books. Ano tayong reference dyan? So, so situation number 1. A 3 meter long, A36 steel column is pinned at the top and the bottom. Assume is 200,000 modulus of elasticity na 200,000 its dimensions are 100 mm by 200 mm determine the following a the mode of failure of the compression member b the mode of failure of the compression member if both ends are fixed c determine the allowable load if both ends are pin using a factor of safety of 2.5 and d determine the allowable load if both ends are fixed using a factor of safety of 2.5 so Problem 1. Sabi daw, it is a pin-pin connected 3 meter long steel column. So, ang K natin dyan is 1. Then, a dimension of 100 by 200. So, first step, hanapin natin ang standardness ratio. First, punta mo tayo sa major axis or x-axis. So, slenderness ratio formula, KL over Rx. K natin is 1, that pin-pin. L natin is 3000 mm all over Rx square root of Ix over A. So, ano ba ang inertia niyan? BD cube over 12 lang. So, 1 times 3000 all over square root of 100 times 200 cube over 12 times 100 over 2, 100 times 200. So, 51.962 lang. Next, what is the inertia in Y naman? So, KL over RY. So, ang, R, ang inertia sa Y naman natin is B cube D all over 12. So, plug and chug lang. Lagay natin sa formula na KL over R. K natin is 1. L natin is 300. Then, B cube D all over 12. So, 100 cube times 200 all over 12. Then, ang area natin is by 100 times 200. So, ang slenderness ratio natin is 103.923 sa Y. So, the governing slenderness ratio natin is yung mas malaki. Malaki yung pinipili natin dahil uh, this mo, it is ano, dito 
most likely mangyayari yung failure sa malaking slenderness ratio. So, what is the critical stress? Pi squared E over KL over R squared yung largest natin. So, pi squared times E natin is 200,000 megapascal modulus of elasticity ng steel all over governing slenderness ratio. Largest slenderness ratio na 103.923 squared. So, ang uh, buckling stress, Euler's buckling stress natin is 182.77 megapascal. Uh, it is now less than sa yielding stress natin. Na FY natin is 248 megapascal. So, therefore, buckling yung mangyayaring mode of failure. Kasi, mas mauunang mag-buckle, maliit lang yung stress ng buckling natin. No? Hindi, bago ma-reach yung yielding na stress, magbabakal muna siya. So, pwedeng mangyari na umabot pa siya ng yielding or pwede rin mangyari na masira na siya sa stress na 182.77 megapascal na buckling. Pero alam natin na unang mangyari yung buckling. Next, kapag pin -pin, uh, fix fix connected naman siya. So, K natin dyan, kapag fix is 0.5, the length is 3 meters, the same. So, yun nga, ang hahanapin natin is largest slenderness ratio. So, alam na natin, may isang technique dyan na hanapin mo, doon na lang tayo sa weak axis pumunta since wala namang lateral bracing, same height, uh, same height naman in both axis. So, pwede kang pumunta na, diretso ka na, shortcut sa, sa y axis or the weak axis kasi yun yung magbibigay sa'yo ng largest slenderness ratio. So, KL over RY, so K natin is 0.5. Times 3,000 all over square root of IY over A. So, dun katulad kanina. So, ang sagot natin ngayon dyan is 51.962. This is our slenderness ratio. Effective slenderness ratio. So, hanapin ulit natin yung critic, critical buckling stress ni Euler. Ang, ang nakuha natin is 731.068 megapascal. So, ano siya? Greater than FY na siya. So, therefore, mag-yield muna yung member natin kapag fix-fix bago siya mag -buckle. So, ang mode of failure niya is yielding. So, this is our answer. Letter C. Allowable load of both ends are pinned. So, nakuha natin kanina na ang stress natin, nalaman natin na both ends are fixed, ang mode of failure niya is buckling. So, ang governing stress natin is FCR. Yun yung Euler's. So, ang gagamitin natin para sa sa P allow is equals to stress times area is yung governing stress natin which is the FCR or the Euler's buckling stress. So, FCR times area is the force allow divided by the factor of safety. So, therefore, our allowable load is 1,462.16 kN. Letter D, allowable load of both ends are fixed. So, P allow, nalaman natin na yielding siya if both ends are fixed. So, ang governing stress natin is Fy. So, Fy times area, 248 times 100 by 200 divided by the factor of safety, 2.5. So, the allowable stress natin, the allowable load natin, sorry, is 1,984 kN. So, nalaman natin na hindi na valid ang Euler's buckling stress kapag mas mataas na siya sa FY, sa yielding, yielding stress ng steel. So, back, buckling stress is valid for only elastic range or the proportional limit. So, tandaan niya na, not valid na ang Euler kapag lumampas na sa FY. Situation 2, this is a passport exam. An 8 meter long steel column is pinned at the top and fixed at the bottom. The column is provided with a lateral support at mid height in the weak direction. The Euler critical load is PC pi squared EI over KL squared. The properties of the column section is IX 178.1 times 10 raised to 6, MM raised to 4, IY. 18.8 times 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 and the area is 8129 mm squared.
What is the critical effective slenderness ratio? Calculate the critical load PC in kilonewton. Determine the minimum length of the column for which the Euler's formula is valid if the proportional limit of the steel used is 320 megapascal. So start na tayo sa number 1. So ito yung column natin. Meron daw siyang lateral bracing at the mid height sa weak axis. So yung lateral bracing na yan ay mapipigilan yung pag-bend ng column natin sa weak axis. Kasi doon siya sa nakalagay. So ganyan yung itsura niya. So, ang technique dyan, tumingin ka sa X direction and sa Y direction. Ito makikita mo kapag tumingin ka sa X direction, tumingin ka sa X direction, hindi mo makikita yung lateral bracing dyan, di ba? Pero kapag tumingin ka sa Y direction, ito yung makikita mo. May lateral bracing, bracing siya sa mid height. Tama? Meron siyang 4-4, L over 2, L over 2 sa mid height. So, Back lang tayo dun sa slenderness ratio. Hanapin natin yung slenderness ratio sa x and y axis. Dun muna tayo sa x. Sa x, kl over rx. So, ano ba nga ang k nyan kapag pin fix? So, by theoretical, 0.7. So, 0.7 times 8,000 all over rx, the square root of ix over a. So, 0.7 times 8,000 over ix. 1781.1 1 times 10 raised to 6 over area 8129. Slender ness ratio natin sa X is 37.833. Ngayon, dito naman tayo sa Y. May lateral bracing na to. ba? Diba? Pag tumingin ka dito sa Y, may lateral bracing na siya. ba? Diba? So, dito muna tayo sa baba. Tandaan nyo, kapag may lateral bracing yung isa, yung isang ano ba, member ay pin connected siya dun sa lateral bracing na yon sa point ng lateral bracing na yon kasi hindi magpo-produce ng moment walang kakayahan makapag-restrain ng moment yung lateral brace tandaan niyo yan walang kakayahan mag-produce mag-restrain ng moment yung lateral bracing so pin connected siya kapag naka-lateral brace so dito muna tayo sa baba pin fix dun sa baba so 0.7 Times 4,000 square root of IY over A. So, this is our slenderness ratio sa Y sa baba. 58.223. Tingnan naman tayo sa slenderness ratio sa Y sa taas. Sabi nga, kapag lateral brace, pin connected siya doon, hindi siya kayang mag-restrain ng moment. So, pin pin is 1.0. So, 1.0 times the length 4,000 all over square root of I, Y over A. So, 1.0 times 4,000 all over square root of 18.8 times 10 raised to 6 over 8,129. So, ito siya. So, the governing slenderness ratio or the effective slenderness ratio is 83.176. Pinakamalaki. Next, the critical Euler's buckling load or the PCR. Sabi... PCR is FCR times area of the section or just simply pi squared EI over KL squared, effective length squared. So, either of the two pwede mong gamitin. So, ang ginamit ko dito is, ano na lang, pi squared E over KL squared times yung KL over R squared times area of the section. So, PCR is stress times area pi squared E all over 83.176 times squared times 8129 the, the critical buckling load is 2319 kN next last question sabe what is the uh when the proportional limit daw is 320 megapascal ano daw yung height ng column sabe So 320 megapascal is the pascal is our proportional limit. Proportional limit or elastic limit, elastic range is elast is ano siya Euler's buckling stress. So tandaan niyo na. So 320 equate mo lang siya sa Euler's buckling stress, the pi squared e over k l over r squared. So unknown yung length ng column daw para ma-limit mo sa 320. So hinanap mo natin yung length ng column para yung limit mo ng Buckling stress is 320. So, 
arrange mo lang, KL over R is equal to square root of pi squared E over 320 megapascal. The KL over R or the slenderness ratio is 78.539816. We know in problem 1 na ito yung nag-burn, yung sa taas, yung pin-pin connection. So, yun na yung gagamitin nating uh, formula dun sa KL over R natin. Kasi, dun pa rin siya papasok. Dun pa rin papasok yung ano, yung effective slenderness ratio dun, dun sa area na yun. So, KL over RY, 1.0 times L over square root of IY over A. Yung K natin is 1 dahil pin-pin. So, L, unknown yung L, yun yung inaanot natin. L over square root of 18.8 times 10 raised to 6 over 8129. Sagot natin sa L is 3.8 meters. Pero, hindi pa yan yung sagot. Kasi, ang hinahanap natin is total length of the column. Yung nahanap natin 3.8 meters is dun lang yung sa taas. So, the total length of the column will be 7.6 meters. At uh, ito, pag ang 7.6 meters na daw yung column mo, Kapag ang Euler buckling stress mo na dyan is 320 megapascal. Yun lang yung tanong. Next. Uh, meron tayong code provision for compressive strength for flexural buckling in NSCP 2001. Nagbigay sila ng code provisions. So, ang CC natin or the limiting slenderness ratio na tinatawag is square root of 2 pi squared E over FY. Ito yung limiting slenderness ratio natin. Dito natin malalaman, tulad na sinabi ko kanina, dito mo malalaman kung ang column is uh, short column or intermediate column or a long column. So, <clears throat> dito siya papasok. When KL over R or the slender, effective slenderness ratio is less than or equal to your limiting slenderness ratio which is CC, ito yung formula. FA, ganyan, ganyan. Meron siyang factor of safety. Sa ibang book, nakakakita ka ng alpha is equals to KL over R over CC. So, i-aano mo lang, isasalpak mo lang siya dun sa KL over R over CC. Same lang yung formula. Ganun na sa ibang book. Sa long column naman, when KL over R is greater than CC, ito yung formula. Napansin nyo, dun sa problem 1 natin, kapag ito ang factor of safety niya is 23 over 12. Sa uh, problem 1 natin, nakita natin na kapag uh, short column siya, mag-yield siya. O, tingnan mo. Dito sa formula natin, Fy over Fs. This part is Fy over Fs. Tapos kapag long column naman siya, magbabakil siya. Ang governing stress natin is Fcr over Fs. Diba? Doon sa allowable load na nakita natin kanina sa problem 1 natin. The allowable load is dun sa kung ano yung nag-govern na stress. Kung either yielding or buckling. So, same lang siya. May ang code provision. Ngayon nga lang, yung factor of safety ang sinosold natin. Dun kasi kanina, na binigay na na 2.5. So, dito sa long column, ang factor of safety niya is 23 over 12. So, 12 pi squared over E. All over 23 times KL over R squared yung FA niya. Dito naman sa intermediate or short column, nakadepende yung factor of safety sa ratio ng KL over R over CC. So, sinosolve mo pa siya. Unlike dito sa long column, fix na na 23 over 12. This is for 2001 NSCP. Allowable stress design lang yan ha, sa 2001. Pero, dito sa code provision, for compressive strength naman, Sa NSCP 2010 and 15, inalaw tayo ng code na mag-use ng LRFT and ASD. Kaso, nagbago yung limiting slenderness ratio natin. Uh, na ginawa na siyang 4.71 square root of E over FY. Mas pinababa siya kasi yung square root of 2 pi squared is parang ano siya eh, 4.44. So, mas pinalaki pala, sorry, mas pinalaki pala yung limiting slenderness ratio. Tapos, ang allowable load natin, lagi, nominal load pala, is FCR times AG lang. FCR, yung stress, times AG, or the area gross. So, eto lang, point nine siya kapag LRFD, yung, ano natin, yung factor... 
factor ano factor natin kapag sa ASD naman is 1.67 so yun yung mga factors natin so kapag when KL over R natin our effective slenderness ratio is less than or equal to 4.71 square root of E over FY ang FCR formula natin is 0.658 times FY raised to FY over FE times FY or FE is greater than or equal to 0.44 FY. Kapag long column naman, when K L over R is greater than 4.71 square root of E over FY, or FE natin is point, less than 0.44 FY sa, sa other code provisions, baka yan yung ibigay. FCR mo lang dyan is 0.877 FE. So, FE nga pala, dyan, is nagbago lang ng notation. FE is stands for Euler Elastic Critical Buckling Stress or the pi squared E over KL over R squared. Cut situation 3. Go. Situation 3. Let's try using NSCP provisions. A W350 by 90 column is pin connected at ends. Use A36 steel and assumes the section has no slender element. The properties of the W350 by 90 is BF250, D350, thickness of flange 16.4, inertia at X. 266 times 10 raised to 6, the inertia at Y is 44.54 times 10 raised to 6. And the area is 11,550. A. Determine the factor of safety if the unbraced length is 6 meters. Determine the flexural buckling stress. Determine the allowable load. Using the NSCP 2010 and 15 naman, calculate the flexural buckling stress. If the unbraced length is 6 meters, calculate the nominal co compressive strength and 6 Calculate the allowable load and ultimate design compressive strength of the column. So, using NCP 2001, determine the factor of safety if the unbraced length is 6. So, first step, natin na yung slenderness ratio. So, diretso na tayo dun sa effective slenderness ratio dahil wala naman siyang lateral bracing or lateral support. So, alam natin na mag-govern dyan is yung weak axis, which is R, RY, KL over RY. So, K times L. K natin dyan is pin-pin connected, 1.0. L natin is 6 meters. Inertia sa Y, all over area. So, this is our effective slenderness ratio. So, solve mo naman na yung limiting slenderness ratio. So, CC square root of 2 pi squared E over FY. So, CC is equals to square root of 2 pi squared times 200,000 over 2 for 8 kasi 836 daw. So, CC natin is 126.169. So, less than lang siya. Less than siya dun sa CC natin. So, therefore, it is an intermediate column. So, ito yung formula natin. Ang tinatanong natin sa number 1 is the factor of safety. So, factor of safety natin formula is 5 thirds plus 3 eighths times alpha minus 1 eighths times alpha raised to 3. Alpha, di ba natin, is the ratio of KL over R over CC. So, factor of safety natin, plug and chug, 96.62 over CC natin, 126.69 minus 1 eighth KL over R over CC raised to 3. So, factor of safety natin is 1.898. Number two, determine the flexural buckling stress. So, plug and chug na lang yan dahil meron na tayong factor of safety, meron na tayong KL over R and CC. So, plug and chug, the formula, this is our answer. Nine, FA is 92.35 megapascal. Actually, madali lang to for ano na to, yung topic na to. May kailangan mo lang siya masyadong intindihin at alamin yung paano yung steps sa formula. Next, determine the allowable load. Allowable load, Naka-factor. Ano na to? So, stress times area mo lang. 
So, 92.35 times area, 11,550. So, ito yung sagot. 1,066.644 kN. So, 1,066.644 kN. Next, using the NSCP 2010 and 2015. Same lang siya. So, calculate the flexural buckling stress if the unbraced length is 6 meters. Calculate the nominal, compressive strength, and the allowable and ultimate design. So, katulad kanina, ang effective slenderness ratio natin is dun sa weak axis. So, hanapin na lang natin yung limiting slenderness ratio. 4.72 bands square root of E over FY. So, 133.755. Case natin, mas mababa pa rin siya. Intermediate column or short column. So, ito yung formula. FCR natin is 0.658 times FY over FE times FY. So, ano ba yung FE natin? FE natin is the Euler's buckling load, pi squared E over KL over R squared. So, pi squared E times 96.62 squared. Ito yung FE natin. So, plug and chug sa formula natin. Plug and chug. FCR natin is 151. 0.793 megapascal. So, ito lang. Next, number 2. What is the nominal compressive strength? Nominal compressive strength is the stress times area lang. FCR times AG. Kasi FCR natin yan. Nominal. Nominal nyo ito ha. So, PN is 151.793 times area, 11,550. So, PN natin is 1,753.207 kN. Plug and chug. Napakadali. Okay. Next, dito, calculate the allowable ultimate designs. Yan. Di ba sa LRFD, ang formula, PU is Vc times Pn. V sub Pn. Nung multiply mo yung load factor. Dito naman sa allowable stress design, AST, dinidivide siya. So, tandaan natin yun ha. Sa pag ultimate, minumultiply, LRFD, minumultiply yung allowable, yung 0.9. Dito naman sa sa PA, sa ASD, dinidivide yung omega. So, 1.67. So, PU natin is 0.9 times PN, 1753.207. Dito naman sa ASD, is 1753.207. Divide mo lang siya sa 1.67. So, ang PU natin, or the ultimate design, LRFD is 1577.866 kN sa allowable naman is 1049.825 kN. Tingnan nyo, yung sagot natin sa number 1 kanina using NSCP 2001 is 1066.644 kN. ASD yon yung 2001. Ngayon, dito sa 2015, 1050. So, almost mag, magkalapit lang sila. Hindi sila nagkakalayo ng design. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, na yung dalawang allowable or the ultimate design strength capacity ng column using LRFD and AST is magkaiba. Mas malaki yung binibigay ni LRFD kaysa kay AST. Pero, dito nga sa LRFD, load resistance factor design, yung load mo ay may factor. Unlike dito sa allowable stress design, ay yung load combination mo is walang factor. Kuna, dead load plus live load as in normal lang. Normal lang na pinapag-add mo. Unlike dito sa sa LRFD, so yung factor mo, yung mga loads mo na supply, mga dead load, live load, may factor pa na binibigay like 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load. So, hi, so hindi mo masasabi na, hindi mo sila mapapag-compare na uy, pag ASD, mas mababa yung capacity na binibigay pag LRFD, hindi. Kasi nga, dun sa, sa uh, kinocompared mo sa kanila na supply load or the, yung supply load, dito sa LRFD may factor sa AST naman ay wala. It's like dead load plus live load, mga ganun, etc. So, yun lang. Ang isang ano dyan, isang mapapansin mo dyan, uh, the difference between them is yung 1.5 Divide nyo yung, ano, one, yung PU sa PA, makikita nyo na 1.5 yung times 1.5 ng capacity ng allowable stress design yung LRFT. 
So ano conclusion nun kung ano naman kung 1.5? Ang sinasabi ko lang, kapag ang load combination mo ng ASD, kinumpare mo sa load combination mo ng LRFD, and napansin mo na ang ang different ang ano nila, ang layo nila sa isa't isa ay factor of 1.5 din. So magbibigay lang sila sa, siya sa iyo ng same na design. Same din na section na mapo-provide, same din na capacity. So parang same lang yung conclusion na may na i-provide ng LRFD at ASD kapag 1.5 yung pagitan nila ng mga load combinations. So yun lang. So I hope na may naintindihan tayo. At thank you civil engineers and babuhay. Keep safe tayo lahat mga civil engineers.